So this is a quick look at the glossary plugin again, but this time just to show you another application of it. So we have the glossary plugin up here. First thing I want to show you is if I just go over to the editor view, is I've rearranged my screen a bit. So my turn base view, you can see I've got no turn base here. Just double check it on the settings. There's no turn base in here either. So what I'm going to do is using the glossary plugin, I'm going to import a turn base into here rather than do the conversion separately. And the turn base I'm going to import is a bit more of a complicated spreadsheet. So this time we have some some more fields. So some entry fields for the client and a media file. So this is just a reference to the name of a of an image. And these images are held in a folder that bears the same name as the spreadsheet, but with media underscore at the beginning. So in here you can see I've got a list of all of these different files, abeyance, balance, combustible, for example. And if I go back to my spreadsheet, you can see I've got abeyance, balance, combustible, etc., etc. And I've got various um, fields in here, various languages in here as well. So a bit more complicated than a simple glossary. And what I'm going to do is in Studio, I'm going to click on the Import button, and I'm just going to import that spreadsheet. Apologies for that little um, error message there. That is not caused by the glossary converter or the plugin. That's caused by CU6 in Studio, so that will be fixed in CU7. Seems that there's something that's affected these things when we did the release. So I click on OK there. Let's so do this quickly. Does the analysis. Converts my spreadsheet into a term base. You will have all seen this before using the glossary converter. But what that's done then is that has actually added it to... Um, to my project. So if I go over to the editor now, once this is ready, okay, so we'll go to my editor's view now. Now you can see I have a term base there, and the term base is a fully fledged terminology term base that's been set up in accordance to the way I did that in the spreadsheet. Very powerful, very simple, all with just a couple of clicks. If I click over on my project settings, you can see here it is, it's been added. That's it. Pretty impressive, I think. Thank you.